Hi everyone, welcome to IGCSE Study Buddy, where you can revise biology topics from the Cambridge IGCSE syllabus. If you're enjoying this video so far, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. In this video, you are going to learn part 3 of topic 14, Coordination and Response. We'll be learning about hormones first. The hormone system, also called the endocrine system, produces and releases chemical messengers called hormones that regulate various functions in the body. A hormone is a chemical substance produced by a gland and carried by the blood which alters the activity of one or more specific target organs. Endocrine glands are specialized organs in the body that produce and release hormones directly into the bloodstream. Some of these glands that you need to know about are adrenal glands, pancreas, testes and ovaries. The adrenal glands produce the hormone adrenaline. This hormone is produced in response to stress or danger. It acts as a fight or flight hormone preparing the body for a rapid response to a perceived threat. The pancreas produces the hormone insulin. This hormone helps regulate and lower blood sugar levels in the body. The testis produces the hormone testosterone. This is the main sex hormone in males. It stimulates the development of male secondary sexual characteristics. The ovaries produce the hormone estrogen. This is the main sex hormone in females. It promotes the development and maintenance of female characteristics of the body. So let's go into more detail about adrenaline. Adrenaline is a hormone produced by the adrenal glands in response to stress or danger. This hormone is secreted in fight or flight situations. Flight means running away quickly from a dangerous situation. And fight means using physical combat to overcome danger when running away is not possible. A simple example of a fight or flight situation is encountering a growling dog while walking outside. Your body may prepare for movement by releasing adrenaline to either fight the dog or run away, that is flight. So it helps to prepare the body for action when facing a potential threat or danger. The body undergoes various changes to prepare for movement in response to a stressor, whether to fight or run away. The effects of adrenaline are increased breathing rate, increased heart rate and increased pupil diameter. Adrenaline increases breathing rate to deliver more glucose and oxygen to the muscles and other vital organs quickly. These are necessary for respiration to take place to release more energy to prepare the body for a fight or flight response. An increased breathing rate also allows carbon dioxide to be taken away from muscle cells more quickly. The heart rate also increases for the same reason as increased breathing rate. 
it ensures that blood is pumped more quickly and efficiently around the body, delivering more oxygen and glucose to the muscles and vital organs. It also ensures that waste products like carbon dioxide are removed from the body more quickly. Adrenaline increases pupil diameter to allow more light into the retina so that the brain gets more information. It helps to increase visual awareness and alertness. Adrenaline plays a role in the control of metabolic activity by increasing the blood glucose concentration to provide more glucose to the muscles for respiration, which produces energy needed for the body's response in a fight or flight situation. And also increasing the heart rate for the same reason to provide more oxygen and glucose to the muscles for energy release. It also helps to remove waste products from the muscles. Let's take a look at how blood glucose levels are controlled in the body. If the blood glucose level in the body goes up or gets too high, the pancreas will detect this and release the hormone insulin. This hormone travels to the liver and it stimulates the liver to remove excess glucose from the blood and convert it into glycogen, which is insoluble unlike glucose, and then store it. This brings the glucose level back down. When our body uses up glucose, our blood glucose levels get low. When this happens, the pancreas secretes a hormone called glucagon. Glucagon travels to the liver and it stimulates the liver to break down the stored glycogen into glucose and release it into the blood to bring the glucose level back up. Adrenaline also plays a role in increasing blood glucose concentration. During a fight or flight response, adrenaline is released and it stimulates the liver to break down glycogen into glucose, increasing the blood glucose concentration. This provides energy for the body to use in the fight or flight response. So adrenaline also speeds up the conversion of glycogen to glucose in a flight or fight situation. It is very common to get confused between the words glucagon and glycogen. So here's a small tip to help you remember. An easy way to remember the hormone glucagon is that it's the hormone that's released when the glucose is gone. It's easy to get this word confused with glycogen, which is the stored form of glucose that's made up of many connected glucose molecules. Finally, let's compare nervous and hormonal control. We previously learned that the nervous system is made up of neurons or nerve cells, the brain and the spinal cord. The hormonal system, on the other hand, is made up of glands. In the nervous system, messages are transmitted in the form of electrical impulses. The hormonal system uses chemical hormones to send messages. The speed of transmission in the nervous system is very fast, whereas in the hormonal system, it's very slow. The duration of the effect of the response in the nervous system is short term, and in the hormonal system, the response is usually longer lasting. That concludes part 3 of chapter 14, Coordination and Response. Hope this video helped you. Please share your thoughts and suggestions in the comments section. 
Thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to IGCSE Study Buddy for more biology revision videos. Bye.